What's up guys this is Navruz. So today I'm going to show you how you can fix OneDrive white login page screen error. The problem here is that when you try to launch OneDrive you are presented with the white page or a white pop-up box instead of a login page or a settings menu. So what exactly is the error? Let me show you. This is what you are presented with when you start OneDrive. This is the first box you would get instead of a login page and this is the second page which you will see if you try to access the settings of it through the system tray. So how you can fix it? I'm sure that you must have applied lots of workarounds and even if they have worked for you the solution would be temporary. So to permanently fix it you need to set the environment variable of the machine to the installation directory of OneDrive. So let me show you how you can do it. Um, first make sure that you close OneDrive just open task manager all right find the onedrive.exe and then you close it now let's first copy the path of the installation directory of OneDrive go to run go to this path let me type the path again here for you percentage local app data percentage backslash Microsoft backslash OneDrive hit enter you will enter OneDrive's installation directory folder so the thing here is that for lots of you guys there could be multiple folders here with the version number it would be like this 20 blah 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 underscore one two three four five so we do not need those folders those got replicated if you try to reinstall OneDrive from here or even from uh, start menu or somewhere else so uh, we do not need those folders you can delete those and you must have left with only one version folder okay so once you have deleted those replicated folders if you have got them you go to the one folder you are left with copy its path highlight the path Control C copy it now go to my computer right click properties go to advanced system settings this is the third tab advanced under advanced we have environment variables note here that we have two types of variables user variables and system variables we are going to set the path for the system variable so now if you are on windows 7 which you probably would be the path would be uh, the pop-up window for the path would be a little bit different so on windows 10 you would see this window okay so if you are on windows 7 you will see the path in just one line what you need to do is you just need to put a semicolon at the end and paste the path which we have just copied on windows 10 we do it like this click on edit highlight the path first click on edit and then new and paste the path which we have already copied and same is the trick for windows 7 you just need to paste the path over here click ok okay and you are done so now if you try to launch OneDrive it will definitely work for you so thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video